Trump versus Clinton round two. That's where we began tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jen Jacobson. And I'm Chase Jones. Well, Uber's self-driving cars are hitting the pavement in Steel City. The four Fusions are currently available for a select group of customers in Pittsburgh. The Uber cars feature 20 cameras, seven lasers, and three units to get passengers where they need to be. If you're nervous about it, company reps say there's actually a safety driver who can take the wheel just in case of an emergency. However, you will not find self-driving Uber cars in the Valley or anywhere close for that matter. Pittsburgh is actually the first city to test it out. And I do not like tax season, but that is some great advice. Well, it seems like there's always a new diet trend popping up, doesn't it? But apparently journalists at U.S. News and World Report have narrowed it down for us. They think the Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet tie for first place. Both focus on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy foods. Because here at WZDX, we had our own prop bet going on with the staff. Now, at times, it got pretty intense as we were watching the game go along. We do have a winner of our little competition. Drum we roll. each uh, had to answer 25 questions. That winner is Calvin Ashley. He works in Master Control to keep WZDX on the air. He was on top pretty far ahead yeah. of the game. While a little bit of rain is a sign of hope, Madison County is not exactly in the clear with the drought. Welcome back to WZDX News at 9. I'm Jen Jacobson. Yes, that's true. Hopefully not. Thank you so much, Shadi. Well, any chance of rain we're seeing is helping, of course, but not by that much. Now, Maggie, tell us how much more do we need in order to get out of this drought? Well, let's take what we got today and multiply it by five. Less than 24 hours after that attack, President Trump is calling for an end to a visa program the suspect used to enter our country seven years ago. Under this program, 50,000 visas have been distributed to countries where there is a low rate of immigration to the United States. Recipients are then chosen through a lottery system. Now, earlier today, Trump on Twitter blamed Democrat Chuck Schumer of New York, who helped pass the 1990 legislation creating the diversity visa program, and that was signed into law by Republican President George H.W. Bush. Senator Schumer fired back both on Twitter and on the Senate floor. Luckily, our weather is not as hot as these political debates, but it's actually not too cold out there for November. Governor Robert Bentley says it's time to offer the the people of Alabama that opportunity to vote. He's calling for a special session with state lawmakers on the matter. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jen Jacobson. And I'm Chase Gallimore. Pokemon and Space Camp, you're in for a real treat. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center is slicing your ticket price if you show up and have that Pokemon app. It costs only $13 during special dates and times. Just visit Tuesday through Thursday, July 12th through the 14th, and July 19th and 21st between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. And stay tuned for a Sunday in the Safari Zone Pokemon Go special. That will also include discounted prices for any Pokemon fans. And here is a behind the scenes look of the commercial shoot. You can see me trying to put on some hockey gloves. The Huntsville Havoc uh, kindly shared with me. They are huge and he's obviously very, very tall compared to me too. Now they didn't fit perfectly, but we had laughs. We were sure to get a good picture as well and it was nice to see the guys. This was last year. I wasn't so nice this time around. We were just having fun, just kind of punching and uh, <laughs> Thanks to the guys for a good cause. That's it's to right. raise money, so all... we had some fun with that. It was all for a fun joke, so I still technically got him good. You did. You I, I definitely did. nicked his nose, even though it looks like I actually punched him. I didn't. I just barely nicked the nose, but I still got him. Microsoft Paint is back just one day after Microsoft said it was getting rid of the drawing program. The company says it decided to keep Paint after an incredible outpouring of support and nostalgia. It will soon it be. Like That's so. Renata's with the little alien. Yeah. I love it. That's mine. It's highly embarrassing, but hey, you, you know what? Job, I participated. Yeah. So. The, the <laughs> and look rocket. at Chase's. That is amazing. Overachiever. <laughs> he, did, he says he didn't copy and paste that. I did not. I, I painted it. I looked at another image. Amazing. And, yeah. Too much time on Microsoft. Microsoft Paint. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty fun. I'm happy that it's back. I use it every day. I feel like it's a need in this industry. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I think about this. Okay, if they try to get rid of paint, what happens if they ever try to get rid of solitaire? What kind of oh, outlaw would that no. ever be? It's Don't do allowed. it. That would they be rough. That. It would be really, really <laughs> rough on Microsoft, at least. That well, we need the paint apparently here, and I feel like we all need a little bit of a cool down out there because it is so hot. Oh, yeah, don't tell boss, but I think I quit too. What would you do with it? <laughs> Seven hundred million dollars. I don't know. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay right here. Yeah, that's Maybe. a good answer. I think I, I could have some fun with it. You know, buy a couple houses. You know, yeah. go on vacation, give some back to my family, sure. and of course, you got to donate. You got to give back, sure. right? Travel the world. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a good plan. All right. Well, today. On
So that letter worked. Frank has been invited to the White House to see how they landscape the grounds. He'll even get a chance to cut some grass in the Rose Garden. Pretty cool. I mean, just think about if you just have the courage to ask, who knows what can happen? That's right. An impressive young man, 10 years old. He's already out there. He has a business. He's cutting lawns and now he wants to mow the White House for free. So I love his neat. courage. So the best is yet to come for him. That is true. All right. Still to come on your news at nine, a push for big business in Guntersville. See what town treasure officials are highlighting in an effort to draw in in new business. A dead body found in a car at a Huntsville discount store tonight. Police are now investigating after reports of shots fired early this evening. And that's our top story tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jen Jacobson. Meanwhile, this evening in North Cortland, residents taking their frustrations to the street today in a march to City Hall. They're demanding answers after two men were shot and killed last week. The peaceful march started at a home on Rosa Park Street. It's where Jimmy Bolding and James Madden were both found shot to death last Thursday. Uh, I'll be to bring you all this great action from the Tennessee Valley. Yeah, very exciting. I looked at previews. You cannot miss it. And there are so much talent out there. You guys have plenty to work with. Uh, you know, it's actually kind of nice to get a little bit of rainfall here and there, then we can kind of cool off from the heat we've been feeling outside. Absolutely. Never give up. There are always miracles. A great message for all of us to hear. Well, it was another warm day across the Tennessee Valley. A lot more like summer than fall outside Austin. Yeah, very exciting and congratulations again to Isaac. I love his story about pushing and staying positive and, you know, it doesn't matter where you start. It matters where you finish, right? Absolutely. And of it course, maybe no surprise that Huntsville has a lot of intelligent people in the area, but did you know the rocket city is considered the smartest city in the state. According to a new Wallet Hub study, the number of bright minds in the city is making waves nationally even, solidifying the number 27 title across the nation. Some first responders in Florida may soon be as starring in their own calendar after a few so-called honky pics on Facebook got some serious attention. So called, you know they're hunky chase. It all started on Facebook. This post shows three Gainesville officers preparing for duty and it blew up on social media. Scores of women began admiring him. So the department is taking advantage, posting even more hunky hurricane heroes from the team. Gainesville officials are even planning this calendar of the department's quote finest, oh, but no. it's for a good cause. Proceeds will, of course, benefit hurricane recovery efforts. So you don't have to say neat. quote when you say finest. <laughs> <laughs> we all know they're very attractive, right? Everything good comes out of Gainesville. Is that right? That's no, that's the Florida Gators are there, so. That's debatable. <laughs> very debatable, but we very do know they have so. very attractive police. Men and I would buy that calendar. I mean, it goes towards a good cause there you go. and I it looks too. great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hurricane relief. Well, uh, we're seeing a little bit. Of <laughs> now, here's a warning. Make sure you don't play Pokemon Go while you're driving, of course. And if you play in Big Spring Park, do us a favor and look up every now and then. We don't want you to fall into the water. Yeah, it's definitely taking over. I was riding with my nephew the other day. He was on his phone, he said, hey, there goes one of those characters. I don't even know what they are, but apparently they're everywhere. It looks like people are having fun out there. That they were. Well, outside, <laughs> a little bit of Sorry, rain I'm we had to dodge. To, but, I'm uh, trying to think <laughs> of my favorite Pokemon character. Is it Pikachu, uh, the yellow one? It's probably my favorite, And then too. there's the Jigglypuff or something she sings, I think. Yeah. I liked no, it as a kid. I, I don't have the best Pokemon ago. knowledge out there. <laughs> but it has go. been so stormy out there this week. Yeah, it's really felt like a while with all that rain, but man, that humidity is intense. Not a good hair day for us, huh? No, it has been <laughs> terrible all week, but Sunday, your hair should be good to go if you want to wear it straight, but then you're going to be back to ponytail weather by Monday. Mm, the official hair forecast. I, know. All right, thanks, <laughs> I love her message. Number one to me, no matter what. I hope they take a lot of pictures, they smile a lot, they laugh a lot, and they just have a good time because that's what it's all about. That it is pretty impressive spinning those batons around. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Yeah, so congratulations to them. Indeed. Well, did sports director or sports director?